Hello everyone! So today I'm going to share with you guys 13 things that I find weird that the Germans do. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Eliste and I talk about Germany or just share a little bit about my life or things that I like. Please be respectful in the comments. I did a video a while ago. 13, no, that was 10 things I wish I knew before I moved to Germany and it actually got a lot more attention than I thought it would. I just want to make a kind of a little disclaimer that of course these are all my personal experiences and I really hope that you can respect what I have to say and if you have a different opinion then okay, that's totally fine. And I thought it would be fun to kind of reflect on a few things and it's all gonna be very light-hearted and many of them has to do with grocery stores yeah I have my list here and I'm gonna try to not make it too long number one is you have to pay for extra ketchup you know those little packages you get from McDonald's so when you're going takeaway for example usually in Norway they you don't have to say anything they usually just take a handful of ketchup and put it in your bag and then you have it here in Germany I noticed that um, they charge obviously it makes sense it's just <laughs> since I'm used to differently it's like I thought it was like that everywhere you know um, so we were ha having takeaway and I was like hey they forgot the ketchup and then I went inside I was asking hey can I please get some ketchup and they charged me so I was inside I was like hmm? but then obviously you know I pay and I was like okay and then I asked my husband like if that's normal and apparently it is so I didn't google what is normal or what is not normal but I think probably it's more normal to charge for the ketchup but in Norway it's free so yeah I just thought that was weird <laughs> at first okay number two is that they sell in the grocery stores they sell already boiled eggs um, and those are the eggs with the they have different kinds of colors so you know that they are pre-boiled I was thinking oh that's so cute eggs you know with colors so I was like oh I want to buy those but I realized that they are already boiled hmm. number three is also about grocery stores um, one thing I found super weird was that they sell both they sell room temperature milk and room temperature cream probably more room temperature <laughs> things but because I'm so used to like milk always goes in the fridge and if not they go bad obviously um, but they of, they of course they per, when they make they produce the milk like they make them go through not chemicals but like different processes to make them like so they can hold longer and hold in the room temperature so when you of course when you open it then you have to put it in the fridge Number four, which I thought was super weird, like, okay, not extremely weird because I think I saw this in Italy once, um, but I saw that they sell uh, the rabbits, like the raw meat, a whole rabbit in the store. At first I was like, what is that thing? Obviously it's just the same as chicken and every other animals, you know? But to me, since I'm not used to seeing that in the stores, like I, <laughs> for me it was actually a little bit weird because we're not used to eating rabbits in Norway actually it's more I think it's more in the olden days they did that so for me it was kind of like ah <laughs> I actually tasted it also once kind of tastes like chicken but there's just something with eating it and knowing it's a rabbit it probably just because I'm not used to it that's why I'm like oh number five is that grocery stores again I'm sorry about all the grocery stuff but uh, to me it's just it's just very different they close the grocery stores at 8 o'clock, which is very good for them. Obviously, those who work like in Norway, we have them open at most places, I think, till 11 o'clock at night. And it's so nice and chill. Like, for example, if you have some like late night cravings or something, you you can most likely go to the grocery store and pick it up. But here, like, you have to, at 8 o'clock, like, if you crave something after that, you're like, you have to wait for the next day. Obviously, it's just like kind of spoil. We're kind of spoiled, I think, in that in Norway. But it actually is much nicer, I think, to get off of work at eight o'clock instead of at eleven. That's pretty late. But you know, it's pros and cons, I guess. Number six is that they eat raw meat, which 
probably like when I say that I mean like ground beef even raw chicken raw turkey uh, and of course it's dangerous to eat raw chicken unless it's like uh, gone through a process or they add something to it or I don't know exactly how it works it's safe to eat obviously I googled it and it's not 100% safe but they sell something called met brötchen it's like a brötchen which is like a bread kind of and they fill it with raw ground meat uh, most cases I think it's beef and yeah it's like with some spices and stuff and actually I tasted it and it is pretty good only after I ate it I felt like kind of sick to my stomach because the consistency and the feeling the thing like you know in my head like I know I'm eating raw meat and it's so strange like ooh, like I after that I could never eat a whole brötchen with met on it because uh, it kind of disgusted me a little bit also one time <laughs> I was cooking a taco uh, and I had just normal ground beef in the pan and before I got to cook it suddenly somebody took <laughs> and like tasted the raw meat you know and i was so shocked i was like you can't do that because i'm kind of taught that it's kind of uh, not dangerous but it can make you f be sick to your stomach or something like it's not good to eat raw beef and also my husband like my husband does that too and i i just think it's oh I, I just don't like it and it's super weird for me but apparently it's a very big thing here in germany and I mean, if you like it, that's cool. Number eight is that they don't allow wild camping. Mostly it's prohibited to just take your tent and go somewhere in the forest and camp. You will get a fine. I don't know if it was up to 500 euros or something. And I'm not used to that in Norway. You can pretty much just wild camp everywhere. Um, I don't know if it has to do with the amount of people that live in Germany compared to Norway because we're only like five something million people i think and here they're like over 80 million probably not has to do with that i have no idea but it's just pretty don't get it really why that should be a big problem hmm. number nine is that they have something called oktoberfest it's like when they drink beer it's like a, a festival thing <laughs> they have in october but they start in september which is very ironic because it's called Oktoberfest and still they are celebrating it in September. I think it's just funny and kind of strange but obviously <laughs> I think they really just enjoy celebrating that and why not? Number 10 is that they don't really take credit cards everywhere. There's many places like for example ice cream shops or smaller shops especially that they don't take credit card they only take cash which is super strange for me because in Norway I think everywhere they take card I think it's weird because now I th would really think that Germany would be like very up to date with like ele not electricity but <laughs> what is it called I don't find the word right now uh, modernization or I don't know how to say it but I hope you get what I mean number 11 is that restrooms uh, many public restrooms you have to pay for it for example in gas stations or train stations uh, sometimes malls I think usually in the malls they have like a bowl and there's like a lady or somebody sitting by it and they kind of recommend that you pay them when you go to the toilet I don't know if it's like that you have to do it I kind of feel oh you feel that you have to do it you know but uh, I just think that's uh, pretty weird. I'm not used to that at all. Usually it's free everywhere. Of course, there's a few places it costs in Norway too, but it's very rare. And yeah, so having cash in your wallet is a pretty good tip if you go to Germany. Number 12 is that saying uh, happy birthday to somebody before their birthday is kind of bad luck. Like they don't do it. They don't celebrate birthdays. I think it's not so normal at least to celebrate your birthday before because you don't know if you will live until you have your birthday. In Norway oh, we're so used to like if one week before we if everybody's free for example we celebrate the birthday then. Of course it's more like more preferred to do it after the birthday but 
for us it's not weird at all and I think I think it makes sense too but usually though <laughs> I don't know why but so I read also that you should not say happy birthday for your birthday that's coming up you know um, but apparently it's bad luck and people will not like it I think here to hear that it's usually on your birthday or after number 13 is that the grocery store people uh, they are so fast and you have so limited time to take your to take your groceries like you have to pack your groceries before you pay and i'm not used to that at all it was so stressful for me because in norway when you did beep the groceries they it comes like in a longer it comes in the back you know you wait for them to be done and then you pay and then after that you pack your groceries you know while they are doing the next customer um so for me it was so stressful every time i had like pressure to you you know to get all your things and i just <laughs> honestly i think it's just funny and they're doing it so fast it's pretty stressful actually maybe it's good but at the same time why couldn't you just make it a little bit longer so that was my 13 things so far that i thought of was kind of weird that they do in Germany and that I'm not used to at all but I obviously think it's interesting and I'm really like enjoying this time of learning and seeing like this culture like the way they do things there's probably many many more things that I could say that they do differently in Germany I might just make a part two of that in the future so that's gonna be it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe learned something new. Or if you relate to some things, then I would love to hear it in the comments down below. If you are from Germany, then... Uh, and yeah, I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon again. Bye!